Hey, Deuce, good to see you again. Um, when you think, uh, you know, spring football, looking ahead to next season, what, what's the next step for you? What, what else can you do to really have a good sophomore year? Um, still taking strides in the mental game, uh, going through everything, making sure that I'm able to see more pictures and everything like that and getting my pre-snap stuff uh, down whenever you come out and especially whenever you're running routes and stuff out of the backfield, making sure, hey, this may be a zone coverage, this may be a man coverage uh, and things like that. And then just working on my uh, second and third level moves and things like that to take 15, 20 yard gains into 70 yard gains uh, even more and things like that. I know you're a guy who sees the big picture. So when you sat down and evaluated how you played as a freshman, what, what, what were your thoughts on everything? Uh, I feel like I played pretty well but with a lot of room for improvement, which is really, uh, really exciting because I feel like with this coaching staff and my teammates and everybody uh, that's supporting me, I feel like I can take those strides even bigger uh, through this offseason and going into the summer and then fall camp and everything. So I'm really excited. Who else has kind of caught your eye at the running back position so far during spring practice? Uh, Joe Irvin being back is so explosive. Uh, I mean, even day one, I mean, when he hits a hole, I mean, he's hitting at full speed. And, I mean, it just he pops right off the screen whenever he runs. And uh, he's really big whenever it comes to that aspect. Keon Mosey, uh, KJ Shankle, uh, Jacardi are all taking strides. I mean, uh, even Kali, I mean, we're all taking strides, which is really, really cool to see because we're all young. And every single day we're kind of surprising ourselves with the things that we learn uh, from Coach Anderson and everything like that. So I feel like the entire running back uh, – like room as a whole was taking big strides. Uh, what did you guys say to Joe when he got back on campus? Like, how did you welcome him back to the room? Uh, we were like, welcome back from vacation. It's time to get to work. That was, <laughs> that was, that was really the biggest thing that we said. And uh, we, all, we brought him back with uh, open arms and uh, we got back to work and we love having Joe back. <laughs> vacation. All right. I like that. Thanks, Deuce. Absolutely. John. Hey, Deuce, there's always a lot of talk about, like, for a quarterback not getting a spring practice last year in the case of – for you personally, you didn't get one either uh, last year. What's it been like just having this kind of time to, to devote yourself and prepare for the season? I feel like this is really big because there's a lot more uh, – in a sense, it's more pads popping uh, than fall camp since you're not as close to the season. So you're allowed to have periods of live and things like that. So being able to go full speed and uh, working on blocking, uh, chopping down people on the uh, on the outside and making sure that I mean you can utilize your moves out in the open field and things like that as well. And then uh, just the entire like like motive of everything that uh, spring ball brings. So it's more of more taxing and everything like that. So like during team session, I mean, we're hitting, we're playing football, we're scrimmaging and things like that. Were you able to, to change your body much in the off season? Like are you added weight or how, how much has your body changed? Uh, the whole bunch. Uh, so, I mean, I left here, I played during the season at around 168, 169. And I mean, today I weighed in at 175 and 176 is really where I'm at right now. And I mean, I feel the best I've ever felt in my life as far as running everything, haven't lost any speed. If anything, I feel more uh, because of that. And uh, just, just a testament to the strength staff and everybody here. Where do you feel like this offense can be better in 2021 than you guys were last year? Uh, just mentally. Uh, well, I feel like we're a really young offense, so I just – continuing to learn like the concepts of the playbook and uh, understanding why we're doing things that uh, we are going to do through the playbook and on game days and things like that. And uh, Coach Messingham, Klein and Coach Anderson and everybody on the offensive staff is making sure that we're getting those mental reps and uh, mentally diving into the playbook so we know exactly what we're doing with the concepts and why we're doing it. What's been your perspective on, uh, I know Skyler is back and able to do some things at quarterback, but just be behind him, the other guys that you have there and, and how they're performing. Absolutely. Well, Howard is throwing the ball with a whole bunch of confidence. You can see it, deep balls and everything. He's really slinging it. And then uh, Jaron Lewis uh, has a big arm. Uh, is really somebody that's really fun to play with. Uh, and then Jake Rubel, who came in, has a really live arm. He can, he can sling it as well, and he's not afraid to. So it's really good to see those guys, and they're all young. So uh, it's going to be cool to see them progress as we get older. Appreciate it, Deuce. Thanks. Absolutely. Let's go back to Kellis. Uh, did you get any chance to get away, like, after the season? I know you were under, you know, pretty strict, strict uh, guidelines during, but what did you get to do afterward? 
I got to go home. Um, went home, saw parents, uh, my two sisters, and uh, got into some snowball fights and everything like that. So I got to be uh, like an 18-year-old, 19-year-old uh, kid with my family during the break, and that was really good. And then it got to the point where I was like, all right, I'm ready to get back, uh, get back to work. But I did get to go home after the season and uh, see them back, back down around Round Rock. And, uh, I mean, that was just – it was quality time, and I loved it. Kind of weird that you went to Round Rock to find snow, though, right? Oh, that was, I mean, I hadn't seen snow since I was a little kid. So whenever uh, I woke up that morning, me and my sisters looked at each other like we were kids in a candy shop. And we're like, okay, we know what we're doing today. And we're out there all day, and it was so much fun. All right. Thanks, man. Absolutely. It's Granted, last year, Deuce, well, it was a little bit shorter season than usual, but sometimes that freshman season, going through the grind of a college season can really wear down a young body. How did you come out of that? I feel like I came out of it pretty well. Um, as far as everything goes, my body feels really well right now as well after the break. Um, of course, it wasn't a traditional season. We had, it was kind of like a, a three-game season every single uh, three weeks. You get three games in like a bye week and then three games in a bye week uh, compared to like a regular season where you may have a seven-game stretch without a bye week. So adding weight that I have done throughout the offseason and making sure my body's in the best shape is going to be big because whenever you get into that seven-game stretch, you have to make sure that you're playing at the best of your abilities and uh, your body's still functioning at the highest level it can. You did a great job of, uh, you know, coming in and adapting yourself to the K-State offense without a spring. It's pretty amazing. Now, I know you answered something kind of similar to this, but does this spring feel like everything's settling down and you can kind of really soak things up a lot better and understand the whole concept of this offense? Absolutely. And um, playing during the season and now coming back, uh, the, the game's starting to slow down a little bit more as uh, every day I come out into practice, which is really exciting to see because you're not thinking as much. You're kind of just going and playing football uh, and it's making it really fun. So whenever you get out to period one and you come to uh, like the live events and tackling and stuff like that whenever you come up to uh, like you look line up and you look you're like okay like I've seen this picture before and you're kind of like okay I think I know what's going and then you kind of go and react uh, and that's really the biggest thing is seeing uh, the mental side is starting to slow down even more which is really really big for me. I saw that one online publication listed 10 underclassmen to keep an eye out for the Heisman Trophy I don't know if you noticed that you were on that list is that just pretty um, incredible stuff to read about yourself? Um, it's pretty surreal, but it's definitely nothing that I'm worried about right now. Right now I'm worried about Kansas State football and helping my team uh, achieve the ultimate goal of winning the Big 12 championship. So, Thanks, absolutely. Dude. Last one here, Ryan. Hey, dudes, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing well. Um, I wanted to ask, what have, what have been your – your initial impressions he's gotten in and become your new strength strength and conditioning coach so much energy um i love coach true and the work that he brings to us and uh it's every day he's building a relationship with every single one of us whether we're at dinner he's coming up to us and hey, we, we majoring in how's, how's it going how are you doing uh and things like that so i mean i love coach true and whenever we get into the weight room we get after it and i mean that's big time i just got out of a lift uh not even 30 minutes ago and uh, I'm still pumped up like pumped over it and everything like that and uh, I mean I love it I mean high energy music's blasting we're getting through the work and then I mean just coach true I mean he's as good as advertising even better what's maybe the biggest difference between him just maybe philosophy wise between what you got used to last year with coach Dawson um uh just the energy part I would feel uh coach Dawson is an amazing coach and I mean uh the the gains that I've gained throughout the winter uh, off season, I mean, that's all, that was him uh, and the coaching uh, strength staff that we had here. But I would say just the, the energy uh, of Coach True and Coach Dawson was different, but both great uh, strength coaches uh, but on the different uh, kind of sides of the spectrum as far as that goes. And then last thing for me, Deuce, um, obviously I mean, last year you were a true freshman. This year you're technically still going to be a, a freshman with the way the NCAA did stuff. Like, how comfortable are you being able to get after guys just because of, in a way, hey, I mean, you're – what you did last season, it seemed like to me, when you say stuff, people people, people ought to listen. 
Um, I wouldn't necessarily say get after uh, people, but I mean, I feel like in the running back room, helping out with uh, whether that be like Keon Mosey and just people like uh, Jacardier and things like that saying, hey man, like I, I saw this, for, like we, we all do it whenever it comes to practice. It's like uh, somebody has a run, we'll go, like, hey, I saw this, even though you probably saw that. And they're like, okay, we'll take a mental note of that. And then we'll go and watch film. They're going to be like, hey, I see exactly what you saw in that. I see exactly what you saw in that. And I mean, I feel like, uh, as a collective, they helped me out as well. Uh, and I feel like I helped them out a whole bunch too. So I feel like it's a, it's really a, a give and take. Uh, that's a really nice system that we have, not necessarily just me.